Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I eat in a day as an intuitive eater and just kind of taking you along casually with me uh, through the different meals and snacks that I make. If you're not familiar with what intuitive eating is, I do have a whole video on it that I shared a few years ago now, actually. It is really just an approach to eating that really takes into account your needs, your wants, how you're feeling, kind of paying closer attention to your cues, your hunger, your fullness, among um, several other things as well, and really just letting go of rules or restrictions and welcoming a lot more balance, that sort of thing too. So that's that. I'm starting my day with some tea. This is a tea that I have been loving uh, the last couple of months. I found it back in December. It's from Ticino. It's their chaga ashwagandha tea, but I love it because it tastes like um, butterscotch. It has like a really nice butterscotch taste that I'm enjoying with some oat milk at the moment. Also check out how incredibly beige I am right now. Everything just feels very beige in this shot. I am in, believe it or not, <laughs> despite the beigeness around me and that I am wearing, I'm actually in an anti-beige phase of life right now where I just want so much more color in my life. Does anyone else feel like that? It's just been this aesthetic that I think got carried away over the last few years of like so many neutrals and I just feel like I need a lot more color in my life. So not looking overly colorful at the moment. <laughs> Let's just make some breakfast. So for breakfast today, I'm making myself a yogurt bowl. Sometimes I find in the mornings, I don't have like the greatest appetite necessarily, even though I'm quite hungry um, and I know I need to fuel up. Um, so I find that I just try to eat what is the most kind of appealing to me, what, what feels like will be the tastiest and also um, kind of fill me up the most. And this is what I've been eating a ton of lately are these yogurt bowls. I find them just really quick and easy and pretty filling from the protein and the Greek yogurt that I'm using, some good fats in here too. I layer down some yogurt and then I add on some chopped strawberries. Really, I just use whatever kind of fruits that I have on hand. But then the best parts, okay, so I've got slivered almonds here, which why does nobody ever talk about slivered almonds? They are the best. They just have the perfect, really slight crunch action and just, just a really good textural experience in my opinion. Then I'm adding a sprinkle of hemp seeds for just a little extra goodness. And then the next best part, oh my goodness, are cacao nibs. I cannot get enough of these on my yogurt bowls. Like they are such a staple. It's the crunch, it's all about the crunch. And then lastly, a good drizzle of honey because yum. So this is pretty much my formula for my yogurt bowls. This is, this is how I like to do them these days. For lunch today, I'm making a really easy tuna sandwich, nothing fancy here. I couldn't decide what to make, but I found this can of tuna in the pantry. And since I was pretty hungry by this point and feeling like I needed something really hearty, this sounded uh, pretty good. I sometimes struggle with what to make for lunch. So I love having really easy, easy options like this. You know, there are definitely days where I end up putting off lunch or delaying it a bit, or, you know, kind of essentially ignoring my hunger. But then I end up being way too hungry hungry later. So all this to say, I'm a sandwich girl because they're easy peasy. So anyway, this is just a can of tuna. Chunk light tuna is what I'm using. Um, some avocado I decided to mash in for funsies and some mayo as well. I love mayo, by the way. It's probably like my favorite condiment. I put this on some sprouted multigrain bread from uh, Silver Hills is the brand that I like to use. I really like the taste of this bread. It just has a good flavor. Plus it's really filling um, and rich in fiber as well. I'm also pairing this alongside a nice juicy Clementine. Sadie is up from her nap, so I'm making her a smoothie slash me an afternoon snack, another quick and easy and very yummy favorite of mine to make. So for this smoothie, I did banana, mixed frozen berries, hemp seeds, almond butter, would have done spinach, but I was all out of it, uh, and some whole milk. And later on, I had 
a cup of chocolate milk because I was in the mood for something sweet. I wasn't necessarily hungry hungry, but there's another type of hunger called taste hunger where we just desire a specific type of food or flavor and it's okay to honor that too. And then a little later in the afternoon, uh, I made some date balls with my daughter. It was actually Valentine's Day on the day that I was filming this and my husband really loves these. So um, it was just, it was a date ball kind of day. It is tea time, which is my most favorite time of day. This is just an orange pico tea that I also enjoy with oat milk and I look forward to this cup of tea every single day in the afternoon. It's just the best time of day. It's the best time of day. Dinner tonight is a lentil spaghetti. We like to do vegetarian meals at least a couple times per week, and we also like to do some kind of pasta at least once a week. And one of my favorite ways to get more plants in, especially legumes, is by making a um, lentil-based tomato sauce. Sometimes I'll still use ground beef, but cut the amount in half. But on this night, I'm just entirely using carrot, mushroom, and red lentils. I use a good jar of marinara sauce and and tomato paste and my secret ingredient is also Worcestershire sauce um, gotta add that into the spaghetti sauce as well I have the full recipe for this um, sauce actually on my blog so I will leave it linked below is there anything more satisfying and comforting than a big bowl of spaghetti I don't think so I don't think so That brings us to the end of the day today. Um, sometimes in the evenings I will have myself something yummy that I feel like eating. Maybe it's like something chocolatey or I'll like bake myself something or we'll enjoy a little cheesy poofs that we like to eat. Um, but on this particular day, I'm not feeling as much interest in like having other snacks later on in the evening. Either way, it's totally fine. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you a little bit of inspiration as well for maybe some meals and snacks um, and was kind of insightful to see what a day of um, intuitive eating can look like. I mean, I've done a lot of what I eat in a day videos before, but um, if you like ones where I'm putting a little bit more of a focus on intuitive eating and kind of explaining a little bit more, if any of you guys are interested in that, give it, this video a thumb, blah, 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 blah. give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below, um, and I can do more videos like this. And I will see you all very, very soon.